Prepare an eject pin, a Phillips screwdriver, a pentagon screwdriver, a B2B connector removing tool, ESD plastic tweezers, a flat crowbar, a manual suction cup, a triangular tab, and knotted fishing line, 20 centimeters long with a diameter of 0.3 millimeters. Use the eject pin to remove the card tray to avoid damaging the PCBA. Use the pentagon screwdriver to remove the two bottom screws. Place the device onto the heating platform with the TP facing upward. Move the device to the fixture with the TP facing upward. Slightly press the device and press the handle of the fixture all the way down. Attach the suction cup to the TP. Pull the suction cup up. Tilt the disassembly tab to an angle of 60 degrees and insert it into the gap about 2mm. Use the fishing line rather than the triangular tab to remove the adhesive. Uplift the TP from the bottom and then remove the buckles on the top of the front cover assembly from the device. Use the Phillips screwdriver to unfasten screws from the steel sheet of the TP LCD B2B connector. Then use the tweezers to remove the steel sheet. Use the B2B connector removing tool to unfasten the battery and TP LCD B2B connectors. Remove the TP LCD assembly. Attach the process protective film to the TP. Use the plastic tweezers to clean the adhesive on the TP assembly and rear cover assembly. For the receiver part, Remove the adhesive from the lower right corner clockwise. Use the Phillips screwdriver to remove 17 screws, among which 4 are M1.2 screws and 9 are M1.4 screws. Insert the plastic tweezers into the device from the speaker position. Slowly uplift the front cover support to separate the steel sheet from the rear cover. Use your hand to remove the steel sheet. Use the B2B connector removing tool to unfasten the main FPC B2B connectors on the PCBA and subsidiary board. Then take off the main FPC. Use the B2B connector removing tool to unfasten the side button B2B connector. Use the B2B connector removing tool to remove the headset jack B2B connector. Use the plastic tweezers to remove the RF head from the PCBA and then take the cable out of the cable trough. Use the flat crowbar to pry up the subsidiary board from the right of the USB port and then remove the subsidiary board. Use the plastic tweezers to remove the RF head from the subsidiary board 
and take out the RF cable. Use the plastic tweezers to disassemble the headset jack assembly from the headset hole position. Remove the headset jack. Use the flat crowbar to pry up the PCBA from the upper left corner. Use the flat crowbar to remove the steel sheet of the camera B2B connector. Use the B2B connector removing tool to unfasten the rear camera B2B connector and then remove the rear camera. Then unfasten the front camera B2B connector and remove the front camera. Gently insert the flat crowbar into the device from the left of the speaker. Slowly pry up the speaker until it is fully separated from the rear cover. The disassembly is complete. Thanks for watching.